We welcome you to the family people. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic we're going to be speaking about styles within styles within styles in art. And so now there are a lot of different styles and there are also sub styles when it comes to art. So if you were to say art, you can say that there are different uh there are different categories in art. So we can include music, writing, and dance, etc. as a form of creative expression. And if we were to dive even deeper, we can select a category in, you know, let's just say artistic expression. For this case, we'll just say drawing. You know, there are like categories like painting, drawing, sculpture making. I know there's a term for sculpture making. It's not coming up in my head at the moment. And the and printmaking, etc. Like these are different types of styles. And if we were to like dive even deeper, we can go into uh, to comics. Okay, you can say comics is under the drawing category. Comics is like a sub a sub style under the drawing category. And if we were to go into to the comics. You will know that there are Western comics and there are, you know, Eastern comics, manga, you know. And so, like, the Western comics, they're drawn differently. Uh, you know, you, you got uh, Superman, Batman, all that. And you you have uh, other comics, you know, that are made for children that are also drawn differently. With, and there are, like, different styles within that, you know. Within the uh, within the Western comic world, and now if we were to like dive into the Eastern manga, you know the Eastern comics manga, you would know that uh, there are different styles within manga, and we'll like go into manga for this case. And so there is uh, for styles in manga, you can uh, you can separate mangas into like you know shonen, uh, cyan, and uh, and shoujo. And within the shoujo style, each artist is different. They may follow the same principles of the the pretty eyes, the big pretty eyes for shoujo. And they may, yeah, they may put more focus into that. But for each artist, they have a unique style that they draw to make it look fleshed out. Like they have their, they put their own signature, and that's like a signature style within the style of shoujo. And in another case, if you were to go into the, the sub-genre of shonen, you'll see that uh, it follows a, a semi-realistic style in, that's drawn. And that uh, each of the uh, manga artists for shonen, like, they, they each have their own unique style. Even though shonen is a style, there are, they have their signature style, which is like a, a sub style under the, the, the shonen category if that makes sense and like to understand how to find one's own style is to also understand like the the network within styles the subcategories and styles style signatures uh i'm making most of these terms up just to simplify what i'm expressing so yeah, there are like style signatures. That's like a, a let's just take one piece for example, Oda. You can see that his style like really stands out, you know, and he's still using some semi realist semi realism in his artwork, but his style does stand out cuz he he implements some childlike styles from, you know, you know, children mangas and, and whatnot. So he implements that. And you can see uh, you know, Naruto and in comparison to, you know, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you'll see how they they both follow the, the semi-realistic style. However, they they each have their own uh, signature style that makes them unique in a sense. So, when you when you are to like find your own style, understand that you have to learn in order to find your signature style, for example, in shonen comics you have to learn the semi realism style first and then that's when you can start to branch out into your signature style and so i feel a signature style will be unattainable until you go through that barrier of uh semi realism that's generally 
you know, seen in every uh, shonen comic. And this isn't just for shonen based comics. This can uh, this could apply to uh, anything, even when you're looking at uh, Western comic books with, uh, you know, Superman and whatnot. You can see that each artist have they, they're following like a semi realism. Let's say Marvel Comics, they're, they're following semi realism, but each artist has their own signature style that you can tell who's who and whatnot. But they still study under the style of us uh, of semi realism in order to find their signature style. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're watching, uh, which style are you interested in learning? Leave so down in the comments below. And peace out. And consider subscribing to the family. So you can hit that. And don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you. And then just save it. I also provide you guys a Discord or a place to chat my discord will be available in the link down below i provide references you know for anyone that want to you know look into it you know so i have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.